Hello, everyone. I am Devesh Lati, at the program manager at the Next Genius Foundation. Next Genius Foundation helps students with scholarships for their undergraduate education in the US. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to fill the COF, which is also known as the International Students Certificate of Finances. The ISCOF or the COF is a document which the colleges in the US use to understand the financial abilities of the student and their families. So let me just share my screen with you and uh, take you through the form and help you fill it. Okay. Okay, so here is the COF or the International Student Certificate of Finances. Uh, again, this helps colleges uh, and universities to obtain complete and accurate information about the funds available to international applicants who want to study in the US, right? So you can go through this introduction uh, when you're filling this form and uh, this is where the form starts. So the first thing is your name, of course, you can mention your full name over here, Mr. or Miss or uh, Mrs. You can mention your full address over here, uh, your full mailing address over here if, if it is different from the permanent address, your date of birth. So enter, it's, it's in MMDDYYYY format. In India, we use the DDMMYYYY format, but here you need to mention the month first. That is something to be cautious about. Second is, uh, uh, Enter your place of birth, the country of birth, you can mention wherever you were born, India or in the US or any other country that you were born in. Country of citizenship, so again, if you are an Indian citizen, you mention India over here. Now this question, expected visa type, a lot of students have a, a doubt regarding this. For most of you, F1 will be the expected visa type. F1 is the student visa for pursuing uh, undergraduate programs in the US. So you need to mention F1 over here. Now, question eight is the most important question in the whole form. This is, uh, and it has four sections. Uh, and this, this question is the real uh, uh, sort of uh, parameter, which will help the colleges understand your financial abilities. So the, uh, the four parts of the question Question 8A, 8B, 8C, and 8D are like this. In 8A, you need to mention your family savings or your personal savings, your parents' personal savings in this, uh, in, in the section 8A. And here, you will need a signature of a bank official. So uh, you need to enter the name of the bank. So whatever bank that you are going to, maybe HDFC, SBI, ICICI, whichever bank you are using, and this is where you need to mention the amount or the support that your uh, parents uh, can guarantee um, in the four different, uh, across the four academic years, starting in 2021, 22, 23, 23, 24, and 24, 25. Again, uh, pay attention to the fact that all values here are to be mentioned in dollars and not in rupees. So um, let's say whatever amount that your uh, your parents agree to support you upon, uh, you can mention over here whether it's $25,000 or $30,000. But the thing, again, the thing to note over here is that you will require a signature of a bank official here when you are filling question 8A. Now, uh, this is where uh, uh, the role of bank comes in. So you need to fill this form and your bank official in most cases will only agree uh, to sign the first part. And in some cases, of course, when you have uh, FDs, that is fixed deposits or some other assets uh, logged up in the bank or sort of available in the bank, in those cases, the bank will agree to sign the other, sign your assets uh, for the other cycles or the other years also. This is where the bank needs to fill their own uh, details the bank official needs to sign this the part second uh, of this question 8b is where your parents your mom and dad can fill this and they can mention the assured support 
or the amount that they have agreed or they have decided to put in to your education they they have decided to invest a certain amount every year into your education and 8b takes care of that again uh, it takes uh, you need to fill this amount across four years and in dollars so you need to fill this amount in dollars so uh, in cases where both mom and dad are working you can mention uh, your father's uh, savings or income here and you can uh, fill your this particular section uh, the first one for your father and second one for your mother or vice versa both are fine and then your parents can sign this so 8b is where your parents um, sort of uh, show you or uh, demonstrate to the college that this is the amount that they uh, are ready to put into your education this is the amount that they are ready to invest into your education on a yearly basis 8c is if you have any other sponsors apart from your parents sometimes your uncles your cha 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 chi or mama mami someone like that have agreed to uh, sort of sponsor your education or maybe uh, if your your parents employer might uh, agree that okay we we will uh, we will invest a certain amount into your uh, child's education so that is what sponsors mean uh, again next genius foundation you cannot mention next genius foundation here because it is not a assured support uh, you have not yet won the scholarship year right now when i when i'm making this video we are just in december and the scholarships are announced in january so uh, and this form is to be filled along with the college application before the interviews before the scholarships are announced you cannot mention next genius here you need to mention anyone who has confirmed who has committed funds towards your education and this is where they can sign they can mention their address and they can uh, mention their relationship with you and finally uh, again if if you have any government funding if any state government or central government have uh, sort of offered you a scholarship or any uh, money towards your education you can mention all of that here uh, in your your government uh, uh, funding question number 9 is the exchange rate of course you can take uh, note down the exchange rate uh, uh, current exchange rate you can enter the current exchange rate when i'm making this video uh, us dollars is uh, roughly 74 rupees so you can mention uh, rupee 74 equals to 1 dollar question number 10 is does your government impose any restrictions on exchange on release of funds for study in the us the answer is yes uh, and the amount is 250000 dollars so that's that's a significantly large amount when it comes to when when it when compared to your annual tuition fees which will be in the range of 50 60000 dollars or maybe $75,000 $80,000 maximum right so uh, you can mention yes and say uh, that the amount is $250,000 per year question number 11 is would you have any emergency funds when you arrive in the us so yes uh, in most cases your emergency funds will be your parents savings parents income and uh, you in most cases you will uh, carry an amount which would be somewhere around 2000 to 3000 5000 maximum Uh, again you'll have to uh, make sure uh, what kind of restrictions are there when uh, you take money outside in cash so i recommend that you mention 2000 dollars here that is a reasonable amount when you're traveling to the us question number 12 is how will you pay for your transport in the us again you can mention your parents savings here uh, what amount uh, what is the amount you expect when you arrive at the institution so this is uh, again um, you can mention that you'll have roughly 2 to 3000 dollars uh, per money when when you arrive uh, at the college do you plan to remain in the us during the summer uh, it's okay if you can if you can mention yes or no as well uh, it, it really won't matter a lot right now uh, because this is not something that you need to uh, this this answer can change as you move forward so you can say yes here and you can say yes Uh, in the next question as well where they ask you do you plan to attend a summer school uh, in the us and then you can mention the amount that you will have available uh, with you uh, during the summer so you can mention your parents savings parents income then uh, you can mention roughly 5 to 7000 dollars over here and that is it that's that's how you fill the certification of finance 
uh, certification of finances, which is a college board form. Uh, once you uh, fill it, uh, you need to sign it. Uh, the student needs to sign it. You can you need to uh, mention the date and the month and the year over here. Again, uh, the certification of finance is available uh, in an online repository that we have created for all the students. So you can download it from there. You can print it, fill it with your pen, scan it, and uh, email it to the college. So that is how you need to uh, send your certification of finance to the colleges. Download, fill it with pen, download, print, fill it with your pens, uh, scan it, and email it to the colleges. So thank you everyone for watching this video. And uh, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us.